This is task 3b part 1. For this task you're asked to create a CSS file as a cascading style sheet to match the design specification. A CSS file sets up the styles and layouts that you want to use on your website and you can then apply those to all the web pages on your website. The software that we're going to use for this is called Composer. You can find Composer at this website here, www.composer.net. To download the software, click on Download Composer. You'll then be taken to the SourceForge website and just be careful about what you actually download because you'll see there's all sorts of clicks around, but it should start opening down here uh, and downloading. Open the file and you'll notice that it's a zip file and then in this folder here are all the files that you need. Now you can run this without installing it. So you can run this off a USB key or you can copy it onto a folder on your computer at home and run it there. At school you'll probably need your technicians to have set it up for you. So if we open up the Composer software this is what we see. And there's nothing there at the moment and what we're going to do before we can create the CSS file we have got to set up a website structure. So what we're going to do before we do anything else is we're going to create a folder right, where we're going to store everything. So here's where I'm going to create my folder and this is going to be for the whole website. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to call it task free um, and well it's all about royal return so I'm going to call it task free royal return website. So all my files are going to go into here. Okay so we can now set up the website. In order to do that we need to be able to see the site manager. Now sometimes the site manager will automatically appear here on the left hand side. But if it doesn't we need to be able to view it. So we go to the view menu and have a look at what's being shown and what's being hidden and we'll turn on the site manager. What we can now do is click on this button here which is to edit our sites and this will allow us to create our new site. So I'm going to call it Royal Return. And then I need to select the directory where that site is going to go. So if I click on select directory here, and I now need to find where I actually stored it, which I stored it in a Dropbox folder. So I'm going to pause at this point and I'll come back in a moment. So we're now at the point where we're nearly kept catching up with the folder. So I click on here, select free Royal Return website and click on OK. So that's the location. This is what it's going to be called. I can now click on new site. Click on OK and you'll see here that has created Royal Return. And all I've got to do is just save one web page. So I'm going to click on save. Okay. This now identifies what that page is going to be. So this is going to be Royal Return and I'm going to make that the Royal Return homepage. Click on OK and now I've got to give it a name. Okay, so here we are, we're going to go into Answer Files and then Royal Return Website. And I'm not going to call it Royal Return Homepage. It's normal to call a homepage index dot HTML. So I'll click on save and you'll now see okay, that we have this raw return homepage. If I refresh my file list, there it is index.html. So the next stage will be to set up the style sheet. So you'll need to watch the next video about setting up the style sheet.